Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in the Sims 4 we are creating a sim and a starter home for my new life and death let's play our playthrough I guess. I pretty much want to do everything so this is going to be a very long let's play I suppose and I already have like my ABC legacy challenge which obviously is going to be like 26 generations and I'm only on generation three um and I can't even post it every week just because I feel like with school it's going to be hard to like edit a let's play every week because you know they're very much and yeah anyways I don't know but yeah um her name is Scarlet Scar I think or no not Scarlet Scar um Skylar Scar I don't know. Anyways, I just, I don't know. Anyways, I gave her the ghost historian aspiration. That is the only one we got with life and death. And I gave her only one of the traits. Um, so she is skeptical. She's genius and she's ambitious. And the other traits are macabre and um, chased by death. I didn't want to give her that one just because like, you know, I want to play with her for the full playthrough and it wouldn't be good if she died, honestly. But honestly, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking like, because obviously I also want to do rebirth and like test that out. So that could be fun. And I also had this idea before of like playing with every pack maybe or expansion pack at least and doing a playthrough with it just to see what's all in it. And the thought process with that was, you know, I would only use that pack only. So it would be like get to work in base game and that's it. And obviously with this, I am using pretty much all the packs or every pack. And I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know. I feel like it would be more fun just to like test out um, cross pack compatibility, obviously. Um, so yeah i don't know but yeah anyways i'm sorry but yeah that's just the thing like how do i do it i still kind of want to do that but at the same time it's like do i have time to do that i'm not sure maybe i could if that's what people wanted but i don't know i don't know if i would use other packs with it or not that's the only thing i think it would be nice to just use only the one pack but who knows anyways i think she's very cute she's very beautiful um love her eyelashes they are cc obviously i just so badly wish they would give us more eyelashes that are thinner and not so chunky and thick and just yuck i just hate the eyelashes they gave us i'm so sorry to say it but it's just not good to me um, but yeah, um, I used, I tried my best to use, like, a lot of the life and death outfits, and yeah, and also, I feel like in my create a sim overview video, I said, like, oh, there's no styled outfits. There actually is. Um, I just, I guess, I don't know where it is. I just, I guess I was looking in the wrong place, the wrong outfit category. I don't know, but... Yeah, anyways, I think I gave her two outfits for every day and for party wear, but for every day I ended up going back last minute because I was like, you know what, I want to use a different version of this top because the first top I used, it's just so cute. It has like a floral swatch, so I wanted to use that. I thought that was very nice. Um, The shoes from Life and Death is pretty cool, I guess. I love the boots. Um... One of the boots are very cute and honestly that's probably the only shoe that i like from this pack to be honest with you and yeah so this sim will be on the gallery probably but i did use custom content to so like the shoes she has on now is custom content and obviously her eyelashes that might be the only custom content i used but i'm not sure and i also gave her like the grim tattoo from the reaper reward event as well as like that earring so that's cool i think that was nice and i also gave her sketch or sketch marks no stretch marks because i just never give those to my sims like i never think about it it never really crosses my mind so i was like oh maybe she can have stretch marks and yeah i'm not sure if they go good with her skin tone um just because there's only like two marks or two um what do you call them there's only two swatches so yeah there's really not much i can choose from so i just chose like the lightest color i guess 
Um, and now we're working on her hot weather wear. I think what I'm using now is pretty cute. So this is the shorts and the CC shoes are the, or the shoes are CC is what I was trying to say. And I think the shirt is from the Grunge Revival kit. And I also gave her a pair of shades because I thought that was cute. Um, I feel like I don't put shades on my Sims enough. And now we're working on the cold weather outfit. So there's this sweater that is tagged as masculine, which I think is so cute, but I forgot to check for it or look for it. So that's terrible. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little sweater. I don't know why it has to be tagged as masculine only. But yeah, these are the boots that I love. They're so- oh, not these boots. I- it was the first boots that I clicked on, I think. But yeah, I also gave her a ghost dog because I don't know, why not? And honestly, it probably would have been good- it would have probably been a good idea if I gave her another sim. I did try that, but then I was like, I'm not feeling it. So I just said, you know what, it's just gonna be a ghost dog and her. But yeah, it would probably have been good to have a second sim so that way I could like get through this playthrough a little bit faster. Not that I want to like speed run it, but just like I don't think she can do like, I don't think she can max like two careers on her own. Um, cause I would like to do that, but maybe she can find someone else. Or maybe I can make a sim for her to find. I don't know, that could be fun as well. But yeah, I don't know, this is the second party wear outfit that I am giving her because I really love this top it is so beautiful it's so cute um and then I also use like the love struck shoes because I thought those paired well together um and yeah I just really love her hair her hair is beautiful I feel like I don't really give a lot of my feminine sims short hair so I don't know this is nice I love the short hair on her I think it looks very cute um, and yeah, and then I should be giving her another first or everyday outfit because I wanted to use like this floral shirt. So I thought that was cute. And honestly, I'll probably start off the let's play with, um, starting off in like the grim career just because I mean, I'm most excited for the active career, of course. I don't know. It just seems fun. It seems amazing. I feel like I'll love it probably. Um, but yeah, anyways. I'm just looking for some pants to go nicely with this um, shirt. I just use like these skinny jeans pretty much and that's it. Pretty simple. And then we should be moving on to our dog. So our dog is named Pickles and they are a couch potato. They are smart and they are something else. I kind of forgot. I think if I see the trait, I'll probably remember. Um, but yeah, I got this cute little guy. I don't, yeah, he's just like a ghost. Pretty simple. Um, and I'm just waiting for the traits, honestly. Like, what is the trait? Oh, friendly. Okay, that's the other trait. And I made them an elder because that's the only way you can turn them into a ghost. Because pets can only die from old age, um, thankfully. So that is good. But... Yeah, we're just going through the outfits so you can have a final look. And now we are jumping into the speed build. So I only had 21,400 simoleons to spend. So I think that means the lot was 600 simoleons, which is kind of weird to be honest with you. Like 600 just for this lot. It's a 30 by 20. Um, I'm pretty sure the lot value is supposed to be higher than that. But I'm pretty sure there's like a current bug. So like if you load into any lot, the lot value is just zero. So I don't know. That definitely is a bug. But yeah, I don't really, I never obviously built in this style before. So I don't know. It's always hard for me when getting a new pack and like a new style to build because I'm like, very unsure if it looks good. And a lot of the buildings around are using like, medium or tall wall height so I just I couldn't do that so I changed it to small wall height because if I use medium wall height I have to put it on a platform but if you do that the wallpaper gets cut off so I just I hate that and I wish they could find a way to like move the wallpaper up if there is a platform I think that would be very nice if they could figure a way out to do that 
Um, I think that would be very cool. And also, I think it just, I don't know, who builds on tall wall height? You have to be insane. I'm so sorry. Like, how are you building on tall wall height? And if you do, there you have to be using platforms. That's the only way I can view it because the walls are too tall. Like, it looks insane. Like, how do you fill the walls up? I just, and I don't know, it's just... It's, I can't. I don't think I could bring myself to ever do that. I could probably try that as a video, to be honest with you, because that seems interesting. Like a fun video idea. Maybe not fun. Kind of stressful and challenging to make it look good to you. And can I just say right now, I'm trying to drink more water. I'm on my first water bottle of the day. And like, I don't know, I have to keep stopping because I feel like my throat is dry and, you know, you would think drinking water would help, but if anything, I feel like it's making it worse. Like, what's the point? I'm just saying, like, what's the point? Like, it's, it's just, it's so tough. Like, having a soda addiction is so tough because, I mean, I have soda, but it's Sprite and it's just not good. Like, I just want a good Pepsi right now, but... You know, I'm trying to cut the caffeine. I say try, but like I had a Dr. Pepper last night um, because my mother br brought it home. So, you know, I'm going to drink it, of course, but it's just so hard, um, especially because it can like give you headaches if you try to stop. Like it can just be one of the withdrawal symptoms, I guess. Um, but it's just it's rough. Um, it's just rough. It's so hard. Um... Yeah, it's just, yeah, anyways, but anyways, all I, I, all I can say is like, it would have been so easier if when I was younger, my mother did not introduce me to sodas. That's all, you know, could you imagine how easier it would be? I would never know. Um, anyways, but yeah, anyways, yeah, I just, I want a Pepsi. It's just, they're so good. I can't, I'm craving it so bad. I feel like I've done like a week without caffeine and honestly it was probably so good. Like I felt like I slept better. Not that I got enough sleep, but I felt like the sleep was a little bit better. Um so yeah, um anyways, I don't know. It's just it's very hard. It's too hard, but I'm trying. Hopefully I can drink more than one water bottle today. Also, in this video, like me thinking about it, obviously I couldn't use like the expensive appliances because um, the kitchen stuff is very expensive. So like the fridge, the sink, the, so the stove, I couldn't use because it was too much money. And I'm pretty sure I downsized like the office and the bed because I don't know, the bedroom was a little too big and also it's just... I could use the extra money, of course, because this is just a starter home. And yeah, you will realize near the end of the video um, that I'm kind of like looking over the build and I'm like, oh, the bathroom. And yeah, I had to sell a bunch of stuff because I forgot about the bathroom. So that's just awful. And in here, in the office space, I just gave them like a chess table and a computer and that's it. I assume for the careers, you probably need to know your logic skill or have logic skill because I feel like most careers in The Sims 4 require the logic skill. So yeah, and I also gave her a pet crow in her bedroom. Um, so I thought that was good. Um, I'm so excited to play with this pack. Um, I probably won't record the LP until next week. Um, hopefully by then I'll feel a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just not in like a good mood. And the week I'm recording this, if you guys don't know, it was the US elections. Right now it's Thursday and yeah. So if you know, you know. Um, currently Trump has been elected president, I guess. And it's just, there's no way. It's so crazy to vote for someone that is like so ugly and hateful. And I'm, I'm saying ugly on the inside. It's just, it's just disgusting. Like he built his whole cult. I'm calling them a cult um, based on hate and racism. And it's just awful. And it's so stupid and crazy because like, why are you voting for this man? Like, I just... It's so unbelievable. It's so, I can't, I don't think I should talk about this, but it's so stupid. It's so stupid. And the thing is, is one thing I hate 
one thing I can say is so stupid is that the fact that like, um, like Biden's policies will not take effect until late 2025. So he's definitely going to take credit for that if, you know, he doesn't already ruin it as fast as he, I don't know, but yeah. So if the economy gets better, it's going to be because of Biden's policy, which again, I think is so stupid that it takes effect when they're not president anymore because obviously that's going to be confusing for people and I feel like a lot of people are not informed a lot about this stuff and it's kind of it's terrible it's kind of bad you would think like I just they definitely don't care about the policies they voted for that man because America is just racist and hateful and ugly and I just don't think like how can you think that way and a lot it's just and they say like oh I don't know they're trying to like ban abortions and it's just I don't know something is wrong with people um because like the thing is is like the abortion procedure isn't just because you don't want a baby it can be for a lot of reasons um but yeah it's just it's very upsetting so many stupid people in the world that voted for him and I don't want to talk about it. It makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. And I'm still upset. Like, I'm obviously, I'm, if I'm being honest right now, like, I don't even think I'm, like, exactly in the mood for this voiceover. Um, I don't even think I'm in the mood to play Sims because it's just so upsetting. Um, but I'm trying to move past it. Um, hopefully I can, I just want to be happy and obviously, I just can't be happy because that man is in office. And there's just, like, no way, like, at the moment that I'm recording this, like, a lot of people's votes have not been counted. So, like, if you sent, like, a ballot in mail, you can check to see if it's been counted. And a lot of people are saying it hasn't been and that there's, like, 18 million uncounted for votes or whatever. Not to mention, like, a ballot box has been set on fire so like what those votes are all gone I just anyways I'm just saying I hate to say it but like there's just no way he won there's no way I can't believe it that's just that can't be true but anyways moving on um just I probably should move away from this conversation but I don't know and then I just I can't I'm not gonna talk about it I am not going to talk about it. I can't. I'm just going to move on. Just going to move on. Just have to move on. I can't. I just can't. I'm so sorry. Um, it's just hard not to talk about it because it's on my mind and I'm so upset and angry at the fact that... And the thing is, is like, I I can't talk about it. I should, I should move on. I keep saying I'm going to move on. So I should move on. So we're starting on the outside now and I wanted to use like this stone flooring from the two because I thought it looked well in this area. Um, I did have to delete some stuff to finish it though. And yeah, and I just, I just have to say this, but the people screaming about abortion is bad and being pro-life, it's literally not about the child or the children. It's literally about having control over women's body. And yeah, and then I just, it's so upsetting. Again, like not wanting the child is not the only reason or the only reason that the abortion procedure happens. It can happen because you had a miscarriage. And obviously if not everything comes out, you're gonna have to go to the hospital for that. Um, so you don't have sepsis or et cetera. Because that can just be very dangerous for you and you could die. And it's just like, you literally do not care about the living lives on this earth. Like, it's so crazy to care so much about an unborn fetus. I just, I'm so sorry. But it's like, there's no way you're going to choose an unborn fetus over the person that is already living, obviously. Like, it's just, it's so stupid. Um, anyways, I should stop talking about it. 
<sighs> I'm gonna make myself even more upset, but we're working on the landscaping. I will say the landscaping from Life and Death is not my favorite. Um, and I, I can't, I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, there's these black roses from Life and Death, um, but it just doesn't go with this build. So unfortunately I couldn't use it, but maybe I could make it work somewhere else. Um, maybe that could be good. Um, also I don't want to, like, I, I want to say I haven't given up on my, like, Willow Creek save file. Um, it's supposed to be, like, all the build, or all the world save files, but I'm calling it the Willow Creek save file because that's the world we're working on now. I guess I could say it's just called my main save file. Anyways, I didn't forget about it. It's just a lot has been going on. I've been trying to, like, catch up with recording and I have kind of catched up, but this week, like, this is the first video I made, and it's Thursday, and I'm already doing the voiceover for it, and I'm currently working on my second video, and obviously I have five more videos to record, um, so, yeah, I pretty much, it's not going so well, um, I'm pretty sure anyone can understand because of the election, but... Yeah, um, anyways, the creator kits come out this week, or, yeah, this week on Thursday, so I think I should do a kit overview. Um, I would love to do that. I'm excited for the kits. Um, the Thursday that I'm making this, they haven't announced it yet, which is weird, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and I also put, like, those holes in the ceilings. Um, I thought I would just mention that, and, yeah, I'm so fun. It's so fun. I'm so excited for the new kids. Um, so I guess that's something to look forward to. Um, I'm just, I love it. I, I'm so excited. Like, when I saw the items before, I just, I think it's, it just, it's very good. Um, I don't really have sleepovers for my teenagers that often, but maybe I should start because I think that pajama set will look very good, um, on my teenage sims. And I also gave them purple flowers. I feel like the debug flowers look so good. They also have a weird shadow on them once I size them down, but it's fine. But yeah, I think the debug flowers look really good and I probably should use them more, but it is the end of the video, so I think I will jump into the game and give you guys a tour. So here is the house. So I put like some holes in the ceiling and then here is our empty little patio area. We have our mailbox and then on the side we just have our trash can. And then once you walk in, you walk into the living room and oh my gosh, the dog is just chilling. Look at that, he's so cute. Anyways, this is the living room. There's nothing on this wall, unfortunately. And then we have our little TV. And then over here we have our kitchen space. I put like a pet bowl, the trash can, and some nice clutter. We have a cork board. And then in the hallway we have pet toys, a thermostat, a painting of Grimm. This is the bathroom. Pretty simple. And then this is the office space. So she has her computer, her chest table, her bookshelf. And then this is her bedroom. So I did have her come over here and mess with the crow because I wanted to see if it worked. And it looks like it does, so that is nice. And that is the full build. Hopefully you guys are excited for this let's play. Honestly, I want to record it right now, but I should probably prioritize getting this week's video done. But I will upload this to the gallery, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, you are important, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!